Hi everybody, my name is Wadja Surf and I prepared a video about bearing analysis. For that I use again the sample from lots of Hecate and I will start with some tilt compensation. It's relatively random features on the image, so just flatten, it's okay. First level and let's go to analysis. Uh, what does it does or why is it useful? Uh, generally, you just make a lot of cuts in the C height and you calculate the area of your sample. So you can prep, uh, make a histogram and you can see what's the histogram of your depth profile, generally, depth height based on your sample. Uh, why do you want to use it or why it's nice to have such an information if you are interested in the volume of your samples that's the way how to calculate it if you are interested about your feature that for example you will have uh, multiple height features on your sample then that's an easy way how to calculate how many nanoparticles have such a height how many of them are higher and so on. So, what's the parameters? What's the information? As I said, you made a lot of cuts. Right now, it's defined by the number of histogram bins. So, put there some reasonable number 256 sounds okay, and you will get a histogram right here. Uh, histogram. This x-axis, that's the height of your image and on the y-axis, that's the percentage, how many percent, how many, uh, how much area uh, is will uh, correspond with some height. This is histogram and this second graph is just the cumulative version of the histogram. So. Yeah. It's something like S shape curve. Zero percent of the volume, uh, zero percent of the image, one hundred on the right side. So, uh, how to use it? What kind of the information you will get? It. Uh, let's start with the results box, and you already have your box area. Box area is the area of whole image. Yeah, you can see that we are. 1 micron scan size, so that's 1000 uh, one nanometers multiplied 1000, 1 million na na squared nanometers. What's the center line average? That's the mid average of the side, and then here's something called bearing area and percentage. And these numbers are calculated based on the cursor on your uh, two cursors here. So wait a second, I'm good. So, you can see when I'm moving with two cursors, these numbers are moving. So, let's start with the bottom cursor. As you can see it's cumulative, so you just show, place it somewhere here, and the, the, there's a curse with cursor and the curve and the numbers are written here yeah we have here a 76.9 percentage here of area and it corresponds with the bearing uh, bearing depth 11.3 for something nanometers uh, these numbers you can also get here from this number, but you need to define your error percentage. And that's in the second parameter is when you say, hey, what depth do you want to have different percentage? So up to six parameters here. And you can just type it, hey, what's your error at 15%, 20, whatever you want. This cursor is just for fast looking and fast looking for some number. 
Uh, maybe you are asking if I am put here 15 percent, why do I have here 15.1940 uh, something? Uh, the reason for that is that uh, in inputs here we have like 256. I usually put such a numbers here, and it means that uh, one percent it's not like exactly one histogram bin and also it based on how much you have it so it found the closest value to your given to your given 15 percent so that's the reason for this numbers here even if you type there or zero back to the cursor so that's the bottom gap the top one just showed her area here at the histogram itself and it just described one bin in the histogram the question is where to use it but generally there is also the histogram depth so if there is any peak you can easily find the peak with this and calculate it but practically the same you can use it using the uh, you can find it using the depth function so let's see that was the description uh, there are two or three more parameters one relative again do you want to have absolute numbers in z height or the relative starting from zero but what's more interesting is the threshold and I just put there a threshold and you can see the blue band and it shows me all the uh, areas which correspond with the cursor here I can move it to the lower all the blue areas are below or vice versa, no, uh, don't know now. Uh, are market now blue? So this one parameter, and the last one is the highest histogram cursors. You have here two new green parts, and it's maybe not so visible, but there is a second marker which is green one. So it corresponds with the green cursor. And that's it. Easy peasy. Thank you for watching and see my next video.